So here's here's commenter guy's question. 3070 with a 5900 X or a 3080 with a 5800 X. Now let's be clear. 5800 X is an eight core chip. 5800 X. A 5900 X is a 12 core. 12 core chip. I know this is a 16 core chip box. Roll with me folks. A Ryzen 9 5900X is a 12 core chip. You either need an eight core chip or you need a 12 core chip, or you want a 12 core chip. You want the benefits. That is a decision. The graphics card between a 3070 and a 3080 does not change this decision. The fact that you're trying to figure out how to allocate a budget, the CPUs don't care. These don't care what your budget is. This experience doesn't care about your budget. Now, I know what you're saying. I can hear it already. But some of us are on a budget and I have a fixed amount to spend. Well, let me offer you this thought. If you are on a budget and spending $550 for a 5900X means that you can only spend $500 on a 3070, and can't spend 700 on a 3080? There's your You should not buy either one. You can't afford them. You're broke. Now I'm gonna pull my Dave Ramsey out of my butt here and say something very important. If you're buying $550 CPUs and $500 graphics cards, and you don't have another $200, then you are too close to the line of having no spare money you should not buy either. You know what you should do? You should buy a RX 5600 XT for th for two hundred and fifty dollars, yes. and a Ryzen 5 3600 for one hundred and eighty dollars, and you should enjoy the crap out of it. And you should put the rest of your money in the hip pocket national bank. Ooh, hip pocket national bank. Because a thousand dollars is a lot of money for just one graphics card and one CPU that frankly in three years will be entry level. Mm -hmm. It will. And I understand that some people say, well, I've saved up, I've got a budget, I don't have a lot of money, uh, I, I, I'm really stretching here, I'm trying to make it, but I just, I, I can't do the extra $200. If it took you months to save up to a thousand, and your answer is, well, it's gonna take me two more months to save another 200. If, if, if that's months money and not days or weeks money to you, you shouldn't be buying Ryzen 9s and 30 series graphics cards right now. Now that's yeah. that's financial advice. You didn't come here for financial advice. I'm kind of diverging here. I'm giving you what I think you're, you're you getting, need to... You're getting the voice of reason. You're getting the voice of reason. Regarding the graphics cards, if you're playing at 4K, 3080 without even thinking hard about it. But a 3070 might be enough if you're a 1080p or 1440p gamer and you are more interested in the CPU performance than the GPU performance. But I would argue that if you've got $550 for a CPU, you, you've got $700 for a graphics card. And if you don't, you shouldn't be buying them. Now that's my Papa Deal slash Dave Ramsey advice. You do what you want because you're, you know, you're a big boy. You, you can make your own decisions. But I am of the opinion that you either have the funds to be flexible with your purchases and buy what the deal is. And I think a 5900X and a 3080 is a great combination. Or you, or money's tight and every dollar counts. And I understand that. I've been there. It's, there's no crime in it. It's not a character judgment. Unless you're lazy. But I mean, you know, look, things happen. People are in different situations in life. 